Hello everyone, Sonic Blue Sky here, and we are playing The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now, this is my second attempt at recording this, as weird as that sounds. Um, I've never had this happen before, but this is how bad verbatim sucks. Uh, I recorded about 17 and a half minutes doing this, what we're doing now, which is getting the final hidden skill. As if that was wasn't obvious enough. We're getting the final hidden skill. I recorded about 17 and a half minutes of us getting the final hidden skill and then doing whatever we were do going to do next. Right? Well, turns out that about 17 and a half minutes in, it decided to stop. Suddenly. And do the whole pause, record, pause, record thing. And... I decided, okay, I'm not going to deal with it. I'll just stop the recording, and I'll finalize whatever this DVD has recorded at the moment. Right. Right. Um, did that. Turns out, it actually captured none of the footage that I had done. I had zero out of zero on that DVD. It, it hadn't even, like, initiated the recording. It didn't even feel that... Uh, Anyway, here we go. We are learning the Great Spin. Final skill, the Great Spin. Great Spin is essentially a much more powerful spin attack. If your energy is at full, it has to be at full to do this. You will unleash a much more powerful spin attack. Not only is it farther, not only can it reach farther, but it's faster and it deals more damage. Uh, I'm also pretty sure it goes through armor, but I haven't tested that yet or in a long while. Now, interesting enough here, the uh, Hero Shade states, uh, although I accepted life as the hero, I could not convey the lessons of that life to those who came after. He could be one of two things. He could be the hero of time himself, cro uh, who was crossed over from one of the timelines, or he could be the Skyward Sword Link, or possibly one that, a hero that uh, appeared in between. You have marched through countless foes, each mightier than the last. You who now gaze to the future with vision unclouded. Surely you can restore Hyrule to its stature of yours, the chosen land of the gods. Farewell. Go, and do not falter, my child. My child? What could this mean? Well, personally, I think it means that he is referring to him as a student, not a, not his uh, son. That's what I think. Why does the camera do that? Anyway, uh, ah. Again, I need to like breathe more or something because I'm not tired at all. I'm just like, I'm just not breathing deeply enough. Or I don't have enough caffeine. I have orange soda with me. The mightiest of all sodas! Anyway, now, we now have all seven hidden skills, so... That is one thing that we have completely finished. Other than the, uh... Golden bugs. Next thing we're going to do is... Finish a very long-awaited side dungeon. And I'm sure you've all been waiting for. Uh, I'm... I was... I said for a long time, I'm not... I was not going to do this the cheap way, I was not going to cheat this, I was going to play this the legitimate way because I'm not trying to hack this game. If I wanted to hack this game, I could have gotten the Master Sword early, which I don't want to do because that just completely messes up the rest. Um, so, we're going to go in and finally enter the Cave of Ordeals. The mightiest of all challenges! Hmm. So, she's saying that I'm confident. Whoever that was. She? Who is this she? This room is called Boca Blend Sentry. I'll be naming off the rooms as you go. Um, there'll also be annotations or subtitles or something to 
uh, to these rooms. Uh, I'll also have, um, as you saw at the beginning of this dungeon, side dungeon, this room is also, this room is called, um, Peace and Rats. Um, I'll have, a. Uh, annotation links to the different rooms and there are 50 rooms how many rooms are there in this dungeon there's like there's 50 right uh yeah there's 50 um i'll have links in the annotations to the i'm not sure if i want well i'll decide it i'll decide it by the time you guys see this uh this room is called hanging what is it? Hanging Baba Serpents? Whoa, I missed. I missed again! How did I miss so much? Okay. Hanging Baba Serpents, yes. Yeah! I'll hit that one over there. I hit it. Alright. And Blue Rupee. Uh, I'll either decide between having annotations to each individual room, which will be tough as hell, and I'll probably publish the video before I finish doing that if I do do it. Now you can use the shield attack to lower their defenses, which makes these guys a lot easier. This is called the Skultula Lair. Ah, Skulltila Den, excuse me. These guys have been around since Zelda 1, I think, and... Ooh, Boblin Archers, and they hit me. Come on! I also like to note, I haven't used this move a lot. Well, not that move. I've used that move a lot. Uh, you can roll and press B while you're rolling, and you'll do like a rolling stab. And that takes out Bulbins in one shot, so it's about as strong as the jump attack. Which is pretty good, admittedly. Now let's get rid of these torch slugs. This is the, uh, the last room is called Bulblin Archers. Um... Every amount as we can from up here. Alright, there we go. Ooh, yellow ruby. Uh, these rooms are gonna get quite dark, although you can see the torches for the next room. Everyone. This is a uh, fire keys and dodongos. Uh, what was the last room called? Three arrows will kill a Dodongo, as you guys know. And we have plenty of arrows. Uh, you don't want to kill, or you don't want to use too many arrows. Whoa. Oh, I missed the blue rupee. I thought I... I got you. Or not. No, come here. Killed it. Alright, let's go. I got 969 rupees, and I'm good to go. Now, a lot of you have been asking when I'll show off the magic armor, and yes, I was planning to use it for the Cave of Ordeals, as some of you predicted. This is called, this room's called Tech Type Trouble, by the way. Um, yes, I was planning to use it for the Cave of Ordeals, which is kind of boring, I'll admit. Um, but I'd like to do this in one run. Oh, and uh, this room is called Lizalposes and Goblin Archers. 
as weird as that sounds, because Lizalfos does not sound like a proper pearl name, plural name for Lizalfos. Um, but you're gonna wanna just uh, don't jump off and go after the Lizalfos. Uh, walk over to the ledge and drop down from there, because you want to get those Woodland Archers first, because they will deal damage. This is room ten. The Great Fairy. Fairy music, yay. And she has wings like from Tales of Symphonia. Good to know. You actually do not have to die um, if you have the weapon. Uh, if you don't have the weapon that you need or the item that you need to progress further into the Cave of Ordeals, um, oh, uh, then you can talk to her and she'll. What the? Uh, she will warp you out of here. If need be. Uh, now this room is called the Rat- Whoa! Rat Horde! The Rat Horde and Helmosaurs. Or... Yeah, Helmosaurs and Rat Horde. Ugh. Now, again. Oh. Uh, if you don't have the uh, item to progress further into the dungeon, I think this room is called Bubbles of. Oh no, this uh, giant purple chew. It's right there. Now, take care of one purple chew. Always go after one. And go after its counterpart once you split them. Like this one, I'll go for this one. Take out the smaller counterpart first, so I so I'm not you know making too many giant purple chews. Uh, just speaking of chews, uh, you want to have at least two fairies before going in here. I still love the superb soup, which is another healing item, which is still pretty good. Heals about the same amount as a fairy. Heal it does heal the same amount as a fairy. I prefer a fairy. A third one, but eh. You also want to have a yellow chew jelly or uh, a great fairy's tear. At least one um, if you have it. Probably should have mentioned that earlier. I keep forgetting that. I forgot that in the, in the last recording attempt, too. Uh, this is the. Chew, what is this? Chew worm. Angry chew worm. They don't look all that angry. Apparently they are. They're weak little chew worms. Well, they're stronger than Bokoblins, I guess. So. Not Bogoblins. Bokoblins. Well, eh. I know what you're talking about, so it doesn't matter. I pronounce them Bokoblins because it seems that way. That's. That seems like the proper English room. This is the room called Bubble Surprise. Drop down here and it turns all foggy and all these skulls are actually bubbles. Whoa! Spin attack lag! Awesome. Again, remember, to do the great spin, your health needs to be at max. I thought I killed all of you. Die. There we go. On to the next room, and the Master Sword glows. What is this room? 